hi friends so welcome to all in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge friends so before coming to uh, this packet tracer activity uh, if you like to get my future uploading video info into our gmail you can subscribe this channel right now well coming back to our packet tracer activity here we can see the scenario of this uh, activity in this uh, challenge activity you will finish the addressing scheme configure routing and implement named access control list coming to our addressing table here we can see some of the ip address uh, is missing so we have to complete this addressing table now we will uh, go through the requirements here a divide 172.16.128.0 slash 19 into two equal subnets for use on branch assign the last usable address of the second subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface assign the last usable address of the first subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface then document the addressing in the addressing table also configure branch with appropriate addressing so this is what we are going to do first coming to our spreadsheet here we can see the ip address given 172.16.128.0 slash 19 so we have to divide this uh, network address into two equal subnets uh, for uh, our branch here i given the broadcast address also for this network address that is 172.16.159.255 so here we can see the changes in the third octet 128 and 159 that means here we get a total 32 address i mean in the third octet here we can see uh, two equal subnets so for this address uh, subnet to 1 172.16.128.0 slash 20 uh, till 16.143.255 slash 20 coming to subnet 2 here we can see uh, 172.16 dot the next address after 143 that is 144.0 slash 20 uh, till 172.16 dot 159 dot 255 slash 20 now we are going to assign the last usable address of the second subnet to the gigabit third 0 slash 0 interface for this device branch here we can see uh, the broadcast address of subnet 2 that is 172.16.159.255 so here the last usable address obviously will be 254 so we will copy this broadcast address and we will update in our addressing table it's 254 also we have to uh, update the subnet to mask here we can see uh, the prefix length is a slash 20 uh, so obviously the submit mask will be 255.255.240.0 now we are going to assign the last usable address of the first subnet to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 interface uh, for this device branch uh, here we can see the broadcast address uh, for this subnet to 1 uh, so obviously uh, the last usable address in this subnet to 1 will be uh, 143.254 copy this address and coming to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, in the device uh, uh, branch 254 also the submit to mask now we are going to configure uh, the device uh, branch coming to CLI enable configure terminal before that we will uh, check the running config and here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is configured here we can see uh, these interfaces that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is not configured also coming to our topology we can see those interfaces here we can see uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we can see uh, these interfaces are up first of all we will configure the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, we will copy this uh, address of this uh, interface here is that coming to branch 
CLI configure terminal we have to go to that interface gigabit third zero slash zero and here we are going to set the IP address here is the address and the submit to mask 255.255.240.0 now we will configure uh, the next interface gigabit third zero slash one here we can see the IP address we will copy this address we will go to that interface gigabit third zero slash one and we will set the IP address and the submit mask 255.255.240.0 now we will check the configuration show running config and here we can see the details for the interface gigabit third zero slash zero also for the interface gigabit third zero slash one now we will come to b configure b1 with appropriate addressing using the first available address of the network to which it is attached document the addressing in the addressing table coming to the topology here we can see the device b1 so here we are going to assign uh, the first available address uh, for this uh, device b1 also here we can see this uh, device is connected to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 in this uh, device branch coming to our uh, spreadsheet here we can see the interface gigabit third zero slash zero in this device branch here we can see the address so this address will be the default gateway uh, for this uh, device uh, b1 so we will uh, copy this address and coming to the device b1 here we can see here is the default gateway Also, here we can see we given the IP address for this interface uh, from this uh, subnet 2. Here we are going to assign the first available address of the network to which it is attached. Here we can see that uh, the network address is 144.0. So the first available address is obviously 144.1. .1. So we will uh, copy this uh, address. 144.1 and the submit to mask here is that now we will configure uh, this device uh, b1 uh, here we can see the ip address we'll copy this coming to b1 desktop ip configuration submit to mask it's a 240.0 also the default gateway here we can see that we'll copy this address here is the default gateway coming to C configure HEQ and branch with the routing information protocol version 2 routing according to the following criteria advertise all three attached networks do not advertise the link to the internet configure appropriate interfaces as passive coming to the topology here we can see those uh, routers HQ and branch coming to the device HQ here uh, we are not going to advertise the link to uh, this uh, internet also we are going to set the passive interfaces here uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 0 uh, also in the branch gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 First of all, we will uh, configure on a branch. Configure terminal router RIP version 2. Uh, we will uh, set passive interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. Also, we have a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. Before coming to the network, we will give the command to do show IP uh, root. Here we will get all three attached network address. Now we will give a network 
here we can see one network address i will copy this so it will be more easy for us and we will give the next network here we can see that this is for the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 what we set and for the serial interface so here we can see the network address well also we have to give here no auto summary now we will come to the router hq cli enable configure terminal now we will go to router rip version 2 and we will give a uh, passive interfaces so here we can see those interfaces of uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 0 slash 1 also we are going to give this interface that is uh, uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 which is going to the internet passive interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 passive interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 passive interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 before uh, giving the network so here we are going to give a show IP root before this we have to give a do so that we can see all the um, directly attached networks now we are going to give a network here we can see one network 172.16.0.0 we are going to copy this right now we will go to the next network here we can see 172.16.64.0 and we got one more here 192.168.0.0 Also, we have to give a no auto summary. Coming to D, set a default route on HQ which directs traffic to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 interface. Here we can see which goes to the internet. Uh, also, uh, redistribute the route to branch. Coming to HQ, CLI. Exit to here we are going to give IP root 0.0.0.0, .0 space 0.0.0.0, .0 and the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Also, we have to give a default information originate. For that, we have to go to router RIP default inf information originate. Coming to E, design a named access list HQ server to prevent any computers attached to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of the branch router from accessing HQ server.pka. All other traffic is permitted. Configure the access list on the appropriate router, apply it to the appropriate interface and in the appropriate direction. We are going to design a named access list named HQ server uh, in this uh, router HQ. Enable configure terminal IP access list standard HQ server. And here we are going to deny this network. Which is connected to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see that. So it comes to this uh, subnet 2. Here we can see that network address. I am going to copy this address here. We are going to deny this network. And the wildcard bit, so that is 0 .0 0 0.0.15.255. And we are going to permit other traffic, permit any. 
now we are going to uh, assign this uh, named access list uh, to the appropriate interface uh, in this uh, HQ uh, here we can see uh, that uh, interface uh, that is gigabit Ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 so we have to go to that interface uh, interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, here we are going to give uh, IP access group HQ server out Coming to uh, F, design a named access list branch server to prevent any computers attached to the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of the HQ router from accessing the branch server. All other traffic is permitted. Configure the access list on the appropriate router, apply it to the appropriate interface and in the appropriate direction. Here we are going to uh, design uh, this access list uh, in this router branch. enable configure terminal ip access list standard branch server deny 172.16.64.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.63.255 .0 so we are going to permit any now we are going to apply this uh, access list uh, to the appropriate interface. Uh, here we can see gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. So we have to exit. We have to go to that interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. IP access group and the name is a branch server out well that's all so in this uh, packet tracer activity we have seen the skills integration challenge here we can see the completion status uh, 60 out of 60 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you